All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Dumb honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Uh, it's the brother Yeshaya, part of Minnesota, Valley, South Carolina. And um, this lesson um, is going to be, um, you know, basically a uh, self examination, um, you know, self rebuke, self. Uh, yeah, but pretty much a self examination. Now, you know, through this walk, we uh, we will stumble. Okay, we will fall, and you know, the scriptures say that hey, a righteous man falls seven seven times but get back up. So you have to keep fighting. Okay, sometimes you know, um, uh, you got to do what you got to do to get the spirit back on you, man. You know, and um, yeah, just. Uh, I'm going to go right into it, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse um, 5. Uh, actually, I'm going to start at 3. Uh, I'm going to start at 2. And I know thy works, and it's in the red letter, so this is how I shall speak. And I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from when thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. So, you know, um, it, uh, like I was saying um, earlier, you know, sometimes you're going to fall, you're going to stumble, all right? But you got to, uh, you know, remember your first love and, and repent. Okay, repentance is just not something that, you know, you did or you do one time. Okay, we have to uh, pretty much repent constantly for things, okay? Um, because, you know, we, we go off uh, we go off all the time. So, you know, um, and especially, you know, with doing this work and, and if you slip and, you know, like I said, you know, haven't been doing what you need to do. All right, you let the the world get get the best of you. You know, um, you know, hey, you just gotta repent and ask the Lord and beg the Lord, okay, uh, not to take that Holy Spirit away from you, because that's a bad feeling, man. When when you think that Yahweh Yahweh will take the Holy Spirit away from you, so you know, um, that's why we got you know, certain tools that we use um, as per our relationship. With the Lord, because we have personal relationships with the Lord, every single one of us. So, knowledge your fault. Uh, it might come from a brother. It might come from an elder. It might you know, um, or you just might know within yourself that 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 you're not doing what you need to do. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, uh, hey, this is a fight, man. All right. Um, Satan desires to uh, shift us as weak, man. You know. Um, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and verse five: Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobate. So, hey, nobody wants to be a reprobate. You don't want to be a reprobate, man. Okay, we gotta examine ourselves constantly. All right, prove our own selves. Uh, and, you know, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and that's that includes doing this work. Um, being diligent, staying diligent, uh, like I always say through the Spirit, following and keeping up with the curriculum of serving the Lord, doing the videos, going on the highways and the byways, um, following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, and all, and all that good stuff, you know. Uh, let's go to Luke 17 and 3. It's the book of Luke 17 and 3. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. So, you know, uh, this is basically um, what I'm what I'm using this scripture for right now is to basically, um, if you get rebuked. Uh, for brothers telling you, hey man, you ain't you ain't uh where you been at? Where you know where uh what you know you haven't been doing your vids, you haven't been, uh, you know tapped into the ministry to the brotherhood. You're not participating in the chats, so on and so forth. Hey, then you gotta um take heed to that man, and, and and see if that's really you know the case. 
And if it's coming from a brother, uh, nine times out of ten, it's probably the case. Okay, brothers don't just say things just to, um, you know, aggravate you or hurt your feelings. I uh, it's it's through the spirit of the Lord talking through that brother. So you gotta take heed to that man. Uh, Luke seventeen and three once again take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. Okay, so you know. Hey, uh, you know, that's what the camp leads to, man. You know what I mean? For the camp lead, uh, heads, you know, people uh, that the Lord put in a, in a position, hey, if, 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 you know, you're not doing what you know that you need to do for the Lord and a brother or, you know, your your camp leader or whoever calls you out, you can't, you know, bitch up. You can't get emotional. You can't, you know, they oh, this brother picking on me and so on and so forth. All right, it's through the spirit of the Lord that He wants you to uh, get the message. Okay, uh, prob if the Lord cares about you, because He ch He chastens whom He love. Proverbs nine and seven: He that reproveth a scorner giveth to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man giveth himself a blot. Repute reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Okay, so when you know um. Certain brothers or your 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 camp heads or or whoever, uh, through the spirit, uh, gets on you, okay. Then you need to self-examine yourself, man. Like you know what, um, he's right, okay, and that and it is what it is. So you just need to you know, uh, take it with a grain of salt, uh, not get emotional, okay. And like I said before, take it as though the Lord is speaking through. That that man, whoever that that uh, whoever whoever you know, the Lord chooses to to tell you what you need to do to get back on on your pivot. All right, and um, this is the last one. I just wanted to make this a quick, uh, quick one. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter thirty two, and verse uh, I'm gonna start at seventeen. A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. So whenever, like I said, you know, somebody uh gets on you through the spirit, all right, take heed to that. Okay, just don't take it as if, you know, you're getting picked on or they're just calling you out for no reason. Uh, you have to really sit down and examine and be like, you know what? Um, you know, what whatever they say to you, you you sit down and you meditate on you, like, you know what, yeah. And pray to the Lord about it. You know, do what you got to do to uh for the Lord, man. 18, a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Even when of himself, he have done without counsel. And, you know, um, we all will get rebuked. We all get rebuked. We all get, uh, you know, yeah, we all get rebuked in this thing, man. Nobody's nobody's a, a above uh, rebuke. OK, and if you're not getting rebuked and you going off, then the Lord really don't love you because, you know, sometimes you need uh, that brother or that elder to be like, hey, man, you know, get on your shit. Do what you got to do. You know, verse uh, 19, do nothing without advice. And when thou has once done, repent not. So, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm going to end it with that. I'm giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Aquadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Shalom. <laughs>